What's up guys, Eric here, and in this video, I wanna talk about the upcoming Logan film, the third solo Wolverine movie, with this movie being really right around the corner. Everyone involved with this project is out promoting this movie. They're trying to get the hype going, and Hugh Jackman in particular is doing a ton of interviews. He's talking to a ton of people about this movie, and he sat down with Digital Spy and had an interview with them, and he said some stuff that once again has me slightly concerned about this movie. I know a lot of people are excited about it and I am curious about the movie. I wanna see what it's gonna offer, but I'm not really hyped about it. And there's a lot of reasons why I've made tons of videos, but here he sat down with Digital Spy and he had this to say about the movie. He said, when you see the full movie, you'll understand. Not only is it different in terms of timeline and tone, it's a slightly different universe. It's actually a different paradigm and that will become clear. So he's confirming that this movie is not tied to any other X-Men property. Now this has been a point of debate with a lot of the fans of the X-Men films. Was this movie going to take place in that original timeline? Was it going to take place in the rebooted timeline? Was it going to take place in like the Deadpool timeline? Where exactly did this movie land? Was it a dystopian future? Is it a, you know, a close, uh, close to this time period film? Where exactly were this, was this movie going to line up in the continuity and narrative of the X-Men films? And here we find out that it is in fact pretty much a standalone film. It's, it's just a standalone movie. So I feel like Fox has given up. They've thrown their hands in the air. They're like, you know what? We don't even understand our own timeline. So we're just going to do a completely standalone movie. So this means that pretty much anything we've seen, even in teasers in previous films, it will have no connection to this movie. And if it does have a connection, how is that possible since he's saying it's like a standalone movie. And then Hugh Jackman went on to say, this was my last one. And they said, make the movie you want to make. And uh, so they told Jim Mangold that he had this blank canvas and he wanted to make something really different. Definitely tonally different. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it sounds like they pretty much just took the gloves off and said, do what you want. So here's the thing. This could be a good and bad thing. The good part about it is since it's a standalone movie, they can pretty much do anything they want. Um, so in that regard, it's great. But as far as being invested in the franchises, the first two Wolverine movies and the X-Men films, um, there's going to be no continuity between these movies. So as, a, as they're trying to do this world building, you cannot do world building and then do a standalone film with the same characters who have acted in your franchise films. It's confusing to the fans. It's going to be very confusing to people going in. I can guarantee there's going to be people that are not going to see this interview. They're going to go into the movie and they're going to be like, what the hell is going on? Where is this in the timeline? Where is this in the story? They're not going to understand. You cannot do this with your fans. And this is part of the problem that the X-Men franchise has right now is it's too confusing. It doesn't make any sense. If you want to have a, a franchise that's going to be popular, like what DC is trying to do, what Marvel is doing with their characters, if you want a franchise like that, you cannot confuse your fans. This is part of why Marvel started switching up a lot of their branding, to not confuse people with Marvel films that just have Marvel characters in them and actual MCU movies, because you don't want to confuse the fans of your property. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good thing that the movie is completely separate and standalone? Or do you think that this is going to confuse the fans and it's probably going to hurt the overall sales for the film? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. All right, take care. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I will catch you later.